the acapella and Blue Jupiter, it was born out, well, out of at this time, but how do you actually produce what I call, what I hear, it's like what you do that very few people do, is you are able to do the bass mm -hmm. and that line and a beat line at the same time. Yeah. And then maybe we should, even though I, oh, I got more stuff, we should probably show that clip that I have sure. from the one, yeah. So I, you know, my, in any, in any band, um, and it was certainly like a rhythm and blues kind of pop band. Um, the drummer and the bass player are always uh, in concert with each other. Oftentimes the notes that the bass player is playing on his bass occur at the same time that the drummer's kick drum is also playing. Um, so there is a happy marriage with regards to pop music that those two things happen at the same time. For me, I was able to discover that I could hum the pitches of the bass line while forming this like plosive sound with the upper part of my face and combine them to create the drums and the bass at the same time. Right. And it sort of it was born out of necessity. We wanted a song to sound a certain way. There was only four of us and we had to fill in the gap. Right. And before we do the clip, because uh, I have another question. How much gymnasium time do you do? <laughs> like, because you're, and I thought about your family too. It's like you're this whole group is all about choreo vocal choreography, sure, really. Sure, yeah. But for you and all of them, what is it like to keep the voice okay? And then yours, you gotta like, you must go around playing around with stuff. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> well, people on the subway, uh, my, you know, might look at me a little bit strange sometimes because I'll just get in my own zone and, and be practicing. Um, but uh, if funny enough, for the other three in Blue Jupiter, for uh, Diana, Jonathan, and Jeff, I feel it takes them a lot more effort to take care of their instrument and, and, and make sure that their singing voice is strong and well taken care of. For me, there's almost something meditative and relaxing about beatboxing because I'm not really thinking about perfect vowels, I'm not thinking about perfect sustainability. It's all about breathing and creating rhythms and, and notes that match that and it's not at all a stress on my voice. So it must just kind of be a healing. It's like I'm, for, an, for an hour I'm just like Meditating, having rhythmic breathing. breathing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so very cool. So, um, our, yeah, yes, do you have that ready. clip where, where, for where it starts with, yes, my Mr. Gasper here doing uh. what he does best. Here we come. them, but they're doing it. 